Hello, my name is Ewan McAndrew and this is the second part of a two-part guide in how to edit with Visual Editor, the new interface that makes editing with Wikipedia a lot easier. So in the first part, we created a user page, we added a new user box, we added headings that may have created a contents box if you had more than three headings. We've added bold, italics, bullet points, and clickable links. Now, if you've done all of that, we're ready to now add citations. Everything on Wikipedia should be backed up with reference to a reliable published source with a reputation for fact checking. Ideally, we would like a citation at the end of every line on Wikipedia. So, I can create a section down the bottom set called my example citation and a sentence that I'm going to use to demonstrate where the citation should go. So, first of all, we need to, to have that example section so if you've not done so already, you can go into Edit, go down to the bottom of your page, and you can type my example citation as a heading. And if yours isn't already a heading, mine is, then highlight the text and use the drop down to change it from paragraph to heading. Now that you've created that heading, you can write a sentence that says, I read an interesting article about. Now, it can be anything you like. I'm just, I've just got an article from The Guardian about Bletchley codebreaker Roseanne Colchester today. Uh, depends which article you're using at home. So added, let's say that, added my example citation heading. Okay, so we've got that section in there. Now we need to find an article. So if I bring up a new tab on my browser, and go to the Guardian website or you can use BBC, Telegraph, Times, New York Times and anything you like, any, any reliable published source with a reputation for fact checking. I'm using this one as an example. So I've got this article about Roseanne Colchester, uh, one of the Bletchley Park code breakers um, because we've done a editathon editathon on women in espionage. So, women spies in the Second World War. It was horrible and wonderful, like a love affair. I'm going to cite that on my user page as an example. So, I'm going to copy the URL link from the top. Hold down Control, press C to copy it. Go back to my user page. Now I'm going to enter Visual Editor by clicking Edit. Go down to the My Example Citation section. I'm going to type it our sentence. I read an interesting article about Bletchley Codebreaker Roseanne Colchester today. But it can be any article that you've found just by way of example. And then we place our cursor at the end of the sentence. And we're going to use the citation drop down. Click on cite. Now it's asking for the URL, DOI code, or the PubMed ID. Now we have the Guardian website's URL. So we can hold down Control and press V to paste it in. If we didn't have those details, we could go into the manual section and it's giving us 
choices of whether we've got a website and asking us the fields that we'd like to put in there but equally we could put in field details for books or we could put in details for journals or news items but if you've got the URL link or the DOI code or the PubMed ID the easiest thing to do is use the automatic section to input the citation so control V generate click generate and it's automatically created a citation uh, in the right format it's got the author the date of publication the, the clickable link title uh, the source, the guardian, and when I retrieved it. So I'm happy with that. I'm hitting insert. And now we see I have the citation appear, number one. I'm happy with how that looks. And I can click save page. Added citation. Uh, sometimes this happens, you can get a capture code come up and you just need to input the capture code and hit save. There we go. So now what you'll notice is that we've still got our citation number there but we've also now got a reference at the bottom. So automatically the citation generates the reference as well to go with it and now that you've input it you only you don't need to input it again it you can reuse that same citation again and again if you're working from the same source again and again so what we say is a new article should have a minimum of about 250 words and a minimum of three references to back up what's being said within those 250 words. So now that we've got our reference we need to create a references heading. So I'm going to hit edit go to where the citation is hit return type references and then we'll just highlight that with the cursor use the drop down and select heading and now we've created a new heading for our references and tidied it everything up a bit more so now that we've done that we can hit save added references heading save like so